for us, it was, you know, when it launched, we were already on issue four. So we're thinking about, you know, we're worrying about deadlines and everything. But it was an exciting time because we would go to the shows and people would give us all four books to sign, you know. And then when eight came out, then we'd get all eight, you know. And I, I'm still signing those Black Panthers and Humans, yeah. everything. And again, we, you know, Kevin Smith, it was his first big book he ever did. And he was going on talk shows talking about it. And then we had like movie people and TV. I remember um, a buddy of mine was John Singleton. And John used to invite me and Amanda to all his premieres, right? And I remember being at one of the premieres with Amanda and Wesley Snipes grabbed me and he dragged me out into the street. And he's like, you and I have to talk. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and he said, I want to be Black Panther. You need me to be Black Panther. We had a whole conversation. And I told scoop. him, look, I, you know, that's Avi. That's not me, man. I will give you, I will give the information to Avi and have him call you. But I had people like coming up to me and saying, Hey, we want to do this. And I said, you don't understand. We just make the comics, yeah. you know, um, uh, you know, maybe talk to Kevin Smith. He's got a lot more pull than we do. Um, but it was a very exciting time. And again, we went around and did signings and we talked to retailers, you know, we, we went to all the shows and talked to the retailers. How can we, what can we do better for you guys? What do you want? You know, a lot of them wanted some more alternate covers, but we just did one or two than a line. We didn't want to get into that thing. Right. And then, um, you know, and then it went really well. I mean, um, all of a sudden, movie deals started getting made. You know, people started looking at the books. And, you know, and, and again, if you look at the four books we did, The Inhumans was a TV show, Black Panther, obviously two major movies. Uh, Daredevil is coming back. It was a show, it's coming back. And Punisher will, is always going to be out there. There's so yeah. many. But I mean, Welcome Back Frank was adapted. Uh, the one that Garth Ennis, me, Garth, and Steve did was adapted with the one with Thomas Jane, that Punisher movie. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. pretty much a sideways. Even though it was in Tampa, it was still an adaption of the characters and everything. Um, so we made a we made a big mark, and uh, yeah, things changed, man. I mean, but it, it was it was a matter of the right people on the right books, and it's not always as easy as it seems right. to, to do that, you know. Yeah, that, that's uh, it, it, again, it's an intriguing story just all together. Having a lot of the guys with it that you were doing work with with Event. And then kind of sliding into this Marvel Knights um, thing and and that becoming just such a massive success is just a, a cool story. I didn't actually know that bit about about Wesley and Black Panther. That's pretty. That's pretty. Yeah. Well, Wes, you know, I, I, it's funny because I ran into him at that party. Right. And then I did a I did a show. Amanda and I did a show. It was not about comics. It was about um, being the creative mind. And we did this thing in Monte Carlo. And the only, and the and the so we were the comic book illustrator guests. Wesley was uh, the entertainment guest and there was an astronaut and a musician. And it was like a weird thing, but I saw Wesley again. And, and, uh, um, and I also saw him uh, right, right before he had had some tax issues. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I had, uh, I had, I had dinner with him and a Anton uh, Fuqua in, in, in uh, San Diego. Um, so I kept, I kept running in, I keep running into Wesley and, um, uh, it's still nice. I still get texts from him because he calls Amanda the, his princess. He says, how's the princess doing? Yeah. Um, but he, he's just, yeah, he just, a, you know, look, I, I think if they make a new blade, just just put Wesley in it. Why Cut not? To the chase, he, he, he can still, he can know? still do, he still looks let good, him train, man. Let him train a younger guy, you know, but have him in it. Because, I mean, that's, to me, my generation, that's Blade. Absolutely. Wesley is Blade. Always will be. Always will be as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.